funny Monkey Kong. Uh, it's been a while since I did a video on my own. So, excuse me if I'm a little rusty, a little crusty. I, I took a little break. Uh, E3 happened. There's a lot of E3 shit. Um, kind of in general, I, I, I wouldn't say I was, like, too into, like, one certain company this year. I, I know. E E3 in the end doesn't really matter because it's all it's all just capitalist bullshit. It's just marketing. There's nothing special about it. But um there were some good games shown. Uh who do I think? I, I think the real winner of E3 was the friends we made along the way. Thank you. God bless America. Um I had to choose some of my favorites of the show, though. Um, obviously, Nintendo. I'm like, I love Nintendo. I would die for them. Um, Bethesda was really good. Like, they were, they were extremely good. And their entire presentation was, like, genuinely entertaining to watch. Like, so, it's like, I know Todd Howard's like a meme. We all memed on him. But that man has a ridiculous amount of charisma that I wasn't expecting. I was expecting him to be some shitty, awkward dumbass because everybody just made it out like he's just a fucking idiot. But that man knows how to sell games. He's a, he's a good figurehead for Bethesda. Like, he... He's got the charisma that makes me say, I don't even give a shit about Fallout, but you can take my entire wallet, bitch. Um, I was mostly in... in for Bethesda stuff because of Doom and Wolfenstein, and holy shit, both were shown, and I'm so fucking happy. Um, what was it? Doom Eternal? Really glad that's... that's a thing. I... I wanna get Doom 2016 on Switch. Because it has, like, the gyro controls, and I don't think my PC could handle the full release. But, it, it needs to go down in price. I, I'm gonna keep it real with you, Chief. There's no way I'm spending $60. Con. Damn it. That's what I am. I'm a con. I'm a fraud. Um, Microsoft, people were saying, like, Microsoft did really well. I wasn't too interested in most of what they had. I mean, I liked Cuphead DLC. That was like, oh yeah. But also, I don't own an Xbox. Nobody owns an Xbox. And if you say you own an Xbox, you're probably lying. I've... Well, actually, I've met people who have an Xbox, but... A good majority of them regret it. So I don't, I don't know. Maybe you love Xbox, and if you do, that's that's perfectly acceptable and valid. It's easy to dunk on Xbox owners because you know they're just kind of the the shitty, awkward system that only Americans care about. Because fucking literally no one in like Japan. And even, like, a good chunk of Europeans, they don't, they don't give a shit about Xbox. They, they, they don't. They look at the fucking Xbox, and they, they look at Xbox 360, turns 360 degrees, and walk away. Just... Yeah. I guess that's the reason why Xbox has never been, like, super successful. I mean, the Xbox 360 did fairly well for Microsoft, but in general, like, Xboxes are, were, have never, like, quote-unquote won a console generation for as long as they've been around. I don't know. I don't, I don't like, hate Xbox, but it's not for me. I love my Ninty. I need him. Uh, uh. No, what?
What the fuck was that? Nope. Nope. I don't care how cheap that is. I'ma keep it real with you, Chief. There, they, there ain't no way I'm doing the, any part of the last world again. Fuck that. Wish I wish there was a new Donkey Kong Country. That would have, that would have won E3 for me. That would have won my heart. Nintendo being like, also, the return, the returns duology is now a trilogy with Donkey Kong Country 3, the third game. I know it's not gonna happen, and not anytime soon, but... Oh, I wish it would, because I love Donkey Kong Country, even though it is hard as fuck. I've actually heard people say Tropical Freeze is harder than, like, the original trilogy, but I don't know. I, I have an like, easier time with Tropical Freeze, because... I guess just because it follows more modern, like, game design while still having, like, classic difficulty. But it, 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 I don't know. I don't know, Tropical Freeze just, just meshes with me better. It's, it's easier for me to handle. I love it. I, I really do think there should be a third new Donkey Kong Country game. That this series is fucking good as hell, and not sure I'll get to it this summer. I'll probably wait a bit before I do it, but definitely gonna do Donkey Kong Country too. Though that one's even like more brutal, and I have less experience with it. So who, who knows? Who knows? Probably won't be for a while. Shit. It's just monkey game. It's just monkey game. Who gives a shit, guys? I give a shit. I give a lot of a shit about these funny monkey games. David Wise, composer of the funny monkey game. That's the official title. Um, Nintendo had Mario Party, which was like cool as hell. And it looked like it was finally a return to form. I know that's, like, kind of ridiculous to say because it's fucking Mario Party, but they, they were doing, like, car games and shit. And it was like, what is the Nintendo. Nintendo, what is this car game that you're trying to sell as Mario Party? And I'm not talking about Mario Kart. I'm just talking about how Mario Party was for a while. They, they had no idea what the fuck they were doing, and... I thought they were, like, in, like, a copyright rut, and that's why they weren't doing the board games. Because Hudson Soft is dead. Th they're dead in dirt. But N Nintendo, after that happened, Nintendo was like, alright, we're gonna make uh, Mario Party in a car. Enjoy. I didn't even know there was a bonus here. Good to know. That's where the N is. That makes a lot of sense. Kind of. That's kind of a weird, out-of-the-way spot for that to be. Now. Okay, got more lives to do this brutal fucking level. Vulture, Vulture. Treetop Town. Hey, what's up? It's me, Diddy Kong. That's the real... That's what Diddy Kong would sound like if he could speak. Ignore the cartoon. I didn't even hit that one. I was trying to go down. Piece of shit. But yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. Finally, we'll get to play a good Mario Party again. I can play with my fucking sisters. We could yell at each other. I can have friends over, we can play Mario Party. It'll be, it'll be good. It'll be great. Wouldn't that just be a barrel of laughs? Laughing it up, joking it up, playing Mario Party. Also, holy shit, the Fire Emblem game actually looks like it might be good. 
and I'm really happy about that, because I, I, I'm still recovering from fates. I, I, I don't, I don't think those wounds will ever heal. Once again, if you, if you don't know, my history with fates. I had such intense buyer's remorse when I bought it, and I was trying so hard to justify it in my head that no, this is this is a good game actually. Uh, that I played it for over 400 hours. I bought all the DLC, which costs like $120 for the entire game. So I spent $120 on a Fire Emblem game that I had to. Like, at that point, I had to justify in my head that it was a good game. So, uh, I wasn't happy about that. I, I hope three houses just means, you know, there's just, it, it, there's just three houses in the game. And it's not some bullshit like Fates, where it's like, Oh, you, you gotta buy to unlock the three stories, because we can't, we, you, we're intelligent systems, we can't, we can't fit it on one cartridge. More like we're like unintelligent systems, pretty much. Did I really jump off the cliff instead of into the barrel? How fucking stupid do I have to be to make such a balls dumb decision? God, it's it's because I'm getting heated about Fire Emblem Fates again, and that that always that always gets me heated. Okay. Is there, like, a barrel there, and that's why there's a banana there, or... Because I am trying to move when I do that, and I feel like that might be causing my death there, because I have died there a fuck ton. But I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Nintendo, you've... Intelligent systems, you've ruined me once again. You fucking cowards. I ain't never spending nothing on your gotcha garbage game. And now a salute to all her brave troops who still choose to play Fire Emblem Heroes on a daily for some reason. Even though it's it's not getting any better. It, it, Fire Emblem Heroes, from what I can see, just keeps getting worse. I haven't played it in like three months, and it just... Oh my god. God, it just it just doesn't get any better, does it? Oh thank god. I haven't gotten out of that level in forever. Forest frenzy, let's go. This level can't be any worse than the ones I've been doing. Okay, he auto he auto holds on. I was used to Tropical Freeze where he didn't auto hold on. Did he? Um, but... I'm hoping for the best with Fire Emblem Three Houses. I don't want to be, like, pessimistic about it. Because, you know, it's very easy to be pessimistic about games. Like, if I wanted to do that, I, I could do it. I could just be like, uh, these games look like stupid ass. That's kind of why I didn't go over, like, games that didn't really interest me, because I don't want to think about, like, the stuff I don't care about that's coming out. Like, I don't want to talk about, like, fucking G Gunman Shoots a Gun 3. It, it doesn't, it doesn't matter to me. It's, e it's easy to just think about the negatives and think about what you didn't like that was shown off. And, you know... Six games being shown isn't a lot. So I'm not gonna pretend like it was fucking masterful showing. I am doing save states because I, I don't give a shit anymore. This this is going this is I'm doing this entire world in this video. I don't give a shit. You've had enough of this world. I'm fed up with this world. But yeah, that's but it's fun to just think about games in a positive light, rather than thinking, you know, I, w I wish they announced this game. That would have been so much better than them showing on this game. Like, I get it. I get it. And I, Animal Crossing didn't show up. 
But you I mean, Animal Crossing not showing up isn't unexpected, because they're- the dev team works on Splatoon. And people are, like, really upset about it. They're like, there's never gonna be an Animal Crossing on Switch. Like, we're- we're only in the second year of the Switch. I don't think Animal Crossing is off the table just yet. This isn't, like, Wii U, where it was, like, off the table because the Wii U was a failure. Like, you, you'll get your Animal Crossing. You just- you just gotta be patient. Okay. Now what we're not gonna get is the new Donkey Kong Country, and that is inexcusable. Because as much as I love playing Tropical Freeze on the Switch, I, I played it on the Wii U, so you know, it's not like I'm gonna put, like, infinite amount of hours into it. Got other games to play besides this funny monkey game from four years ago. Make a new one. Make one that's even better than Returns in Tropical Freeze. And everyone will go bananas. I will go with bananas, at least. Because that would be cool for me. Because I think the series is good. Donkey Kong Country 3, do not interact. Especially you, Kitty Kong. If I see your face around these parts ever again, I will not hesitate to shoot you with my gun. You will never see the light of day again, Kitty Kong. Mark my words, I will have my revenge on you. Know what it is about Donkey Kong Country. I know there was a secret there, but I decided not to get it. Because I'm just like, I, I ain't gonna win it anyways. But, I don't know what it is about Donkey Kong Country 3. I know some people love it. I've heard testimonies of it, but I, I don't know. Something about it is just unappealing to me. Maybe it is Kitty Kong. Maybe Kitty Kong alone is responsible for why I don't care about Donkey Kong Country 3. It just did- I don't know. It just didn't appeal to me. I played it for like a couple of hours. I was just like, oh, this really isn't doing it for me. And then I stopped. Honey Kong! Oh. I'm glad we have weird monkey lady. Orangutan gang. The jungle. What was what was the video series that I watched that inspired me to play Donkey Kong for this channel? It was like the Geek Critique. That's what I was thinking of. And he raised, a, like he raised a lot of interesting criticisms for these games, and like it was good. Those are good videos. Um. Something interesting he noted about the original game is that there's like 10 cave levels compared to like everything else being like 5. And that, I'm now I'm thinking about it and I'm like, well, why did they do that? Oh shit. But yeah, that... I think that- I think watching that series of videos made me crave new Donkey Kong. Cause now I'm like, well, they gotta make a new one. If that's not a secret, then what's the point? I just went through that level in like two seconds. Clam City. Ain't that the place from Spongebob the movie? Nah, I know it's Shell City. Please, please, please do not be mean to me. I was just making a joke. Um, but... What else was there? Yeah, no Donkey Kong Country is my biggest complaint. I knew it wasn't gonna happen, but I'm still disappointed anyways. And I think, I think Animal Crossing fans don't realize their privilege because New Leaf is like uh, it got an it got an expansion like two years ago but people that people just want to be like well there's never gonna be another animal crossing again 
I know I said I wasn't gonna be pessimistic, but I, I can't I can't deal with it. Everybody else is being pessimistic, and they're all like, Animal Crossing doesn't exist anymore. Metroid didn't get another game for like seven years. F Zero hasn't existed for fifteen years. Captain Falcon has been found dead in Las Vegas. Star Tropics hasn't existed since NES. I noticed that Nintendo said they were going to revive some weird franchises for Switch. They haven't done it yet. They gotta they gotta do it sometime. They gotta keep they gotta keep true to their promises. I'm saving now. Save your game now while you've got the chance. Don't kiss Donkey Kong. He is a monkey man. You are also a monkey, and you are an abomination with a horrible design. I think we should execute Candy Kong instead of, like, Kitty Kong. I've decided... You know, Kitty Kong has committed several crimes against humanity. However, Candy Kong is an eyesore. And I don't appreciate her. So we gotta kill her. Maybe we could kill both. You know what? You know what? That's fine with me. They'll both be executed at dawn. Candy Kong and Kitty Kong, your days are numbered. You abominations of mankind. Or maybe gorilla kind. Maybe, maybe the people who worked on Donkey Kong Country are gorillas. And that's why these games are so good, because they understand monkeyisms. And they're just like, ooh. Ooh, would this be fun? Would this be fun for a monkey? Oh yeah. Okay. Alright. No, what? Fucker. <laughs> I forgot I had rewind. Okay. Okay. I thought that was gonna be a speed up button so I could go to the menu, but you know what? We're doing rewinds now. Professional let's play. Don't you just love the professionalism of the let's play? This is Let's Plays in 2018. You know, back in the old days when you did a Let's Play, you had to be good at games. But then, then the pioneer of all Let's Plays, e Ego Raptor Aaron Hansen, came and said, Let there be shitty gamers making Let's Plays. And then I came into existence. Actually, I don't want, I don't want Aaron Hansen to be credited for my existence, so I'm retracting that statement. I'm sorry, I can't do it. I can't agree to that. I, I can't agree with myself. I just think, no. No, I can't let that happen. Okay. Professional Let's Play. This is how they did, like, ROM hack Let's Plays of, like, Mario World hacks that were inc impossibly difficult. <laughs> this is how you, This is how they did it. And I'm doing that for a vanilla game, which shows how good of a gamer I am. I am a good gamer. Um, but... I didn't even talk about Smash Bros. I think I'm gonna do a Smash Bros video later today where I talk about that. Ow. But there, there was a substantial amount of Smash Bros. And it kind of took up all of the direct, which isn't great for people who don't care about Smash Brothers. So all five of you who don't care about Smash Bros, I'm sorry. I'm real sorry for your loss. Smash Bros is fucking good. If you don't like Smash Brothers, then what are you doing? But I do think there was too much of an emphasis on it anyways. Like, I know, it's it's like their major release of the year, like Mario Odyssey and Zelda were last year. But it's still like, come on, Nintendo. Come on, give, give everyone else a chance. I, I guess, I guess we just gotta wait for later, later, um, directs. And hope there's some good shit. Which I know there will be. Nintendo probably pulled some punches this year so i think 
I think there'll be some good shit. But we'll see. We'll see.